Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. Today, I do want to start a new segment on this channel called Cop, Drop, or Flop. And basically, what it is is that I'm going to choose the top four releases of the week. And out of those four releases, I'm going to say whether they're a cop, drop, or flop. And basically, a cop is a shoe that I would buy, a drop is a shoe I wouldn't buy, and a flop is a shoe that I think should not have been made at all. It's basically just a big L of a release. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first shoe is a Nike Vapor Max in the dark team red colorway. This shoe does release on June 20th for the price of $190. The first thing I think of when I see a Vapor Max is just, it's so ugly. I honestly don't like the vapor max sole i do like the uppers i can't lie it's not hideous but it's not the nicest looking upper ever it's and on top of that this one is just so plain like the swoosh being black is just so plain for the shoe i feel like they should do a little more with it being nike and that lighter shading of dark red that they have or maroon whatever color you want honestly it's just a maroon burgundy i mean it has a dark red but my, I don't know why they just call it like maroon. But yeah, the lighter shade is nice. I can't lie. Especially the fly wire. It does look really nice with that color. And the colors do match overall. Like the black, the burgundy, and the, the light burgundy. But honestly, the shoe is just ugly. So in my opinion, I had to give this shoe a flop. I don't think that Nike should have came out with this shoe. It's honestly probably one of the ugliest shoes they've ever made. Moving on to the next shoe. It is a Nike Kyrie 3 in the N7 colorway that does release on June 21st for the price of $120. This shoe overall is really nice. I do love the Kyrie's. It is a super great shoe to ball in. Unfortunately, I don't have them because I decided to wait for the crazy explosives and buy those instead of the Kyrie's. But I regret doing that because the Kyrie's are a better ball shoe, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. Also with the shoe, the colors are very nice. I like how you do have the black on the inside and then the white everywhere around. And then the swoosh on the inside is white, but then the swoosh on the outside is fading from yellow to white. So it does have that good gradiency and it does give the shoe some style. The black, white, and yellow does have a really nice mixture to it. It's very nice. And you have a black fire wire, so it is not too plain around the toe area. Maybe they could have done a little something more in the toe. I don't know. And honestly, if I needed a basketball shoe, I would make this shoe a cop, but unfortunately I don't. So for me, it is gonna be a drop. The next shoe is another Nike Vapor Max, except it's in the triple black colorway. The shoe does release on June 22nd for the price of $190. And honestly, like I said, the Vapor Maxes are not nice at all. Triple black is super nice. It does go with everything, but the shoe, like I said, overall, it's not, it's so ugly. I can't, I, it just, sometimes it hurts to look at it. I'm not gonna lie, because it is that ugly. I don't even know why Nike would come up with this. I understand there's a lot of comfort in the shoe, but I feel like they could have made the shoe look a lot nicer and still have the same amount of comfort. And as far as the price goes, I understand there's a lot of air in this shoe. So I guess that's why they want to charge $190. But in my opinion, this shoe should not go for more than $150. And that's pushing it still. So that being said, this shoe is just a complete flop overall. And of course, moving on to the last shoe, you guys already know what it is because you guys said on the thumbnail. And even if it wasn't on the thumbnail, you guys would know because the Yeezy do release this weekend. I basically just said it. It is the Yeezy 350 Boost V2 in the Zebra colorway. They come out this Saturday, June 24th, for the price of $220. And yes, the price is steep, but then again, it is a Yeezy. You could flip them for almost three times the amount, maybe after the, right now you can. I don't know about after the release. We gotta see, we gotta wait and see what's gonna happen with that. I feel like the prices are gonna go down a good amount. I think they're gonna range around 600 maybe. 700 because it's a zebra and of course this shoe is super nice it's a yeezy like i said the only thing i would take away from it would be the heel tab but it's already on there. there's nothing you can do they did replace the dark green v2s that were supposed to release on june 24th but i'm guessing those are going to get pushed back to a later release date probably next month or the month after because pretty soon there was a rumor that a second version of the belugas are going to release in october so it's going to be sometime between then but anyways moving back to the zebras of course, you already know, for me, this shoe is a cop. It's a, it's 100%. I gotta get it. And if I don't, then, oh well. But I really hope I am. I'm trying my hardest to get this shoe. And like I said, if you really want something, you're gonna try your best to get it. Honestly, if you don't get this, this shoe, ha there's a good amount for everybody to have. So if you really don't try, then you're really not gonna get it. But if you really do try, I feel like you could get your pair. But don't get me wrong, I'm not guaranteeing that you guys will get a pair. I'm just saying, if you really, really work hard enough and just talk to certain people and just go to the right places, you could most likely get this shoe. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps up the segment of Cop, Drop, or Flop. What I want you guys to do now is scroll down, hit the like button, and also, below that, I want you guys to write down every single shoe in the order I said it, or the order doesn't really matter, but write down the name of the shoe with the colorway, and then put a colon next to that. And next to that, for each of the shoes, write if it's a cop, drop, or a flop. I wanna know what you guys think and how you guys feel about the shoes. And if you guys have any extra comments to make, go ahead and leave comments about that too. Go ahead and leave comments and feedback on this video or feedback on the channel overall. And of course, let me know what you guys would like to see on this channel as well. All that being said, I do gotta give a shout out to today's fan of the day, and that is Jacob B Vlogs. Thank you for commenting. I see I seen you commenting notification squad for a while, but I finally got around to you. And don't worry, I do see all your guys' comments. I do read them all. I try to reply to them when I have the time, but lately I've been pretty busy, so I don't get the chance. And if you guys wanna be featured on this channel as fan of the day, all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel, turn your notifications on, and last but not least, all you gotta do is be one of the first people.
people to comment notification squad. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up to show me that you guys like this video and you guys actually like this segment, which is a cop drop or flop. If not a thumbs up, will give me that feedback. And also, don't forget to subscribe because we are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by August 8th. And I'm pretty sure we can make it happen. So make sure you share this video with all your friends and make sure they all subscribe as well. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. Make sure you stay woke. Arsene, you sign out.